everyone. Today I'm going to be making a recipe from HealthySchoolRecipes.com for a yogurt parfait with butternut squash, dried cranberries, and granola. So this is a great recipe to use local ingredients. We have a local yogurt, we've got some whole grain granola, and some local butternut squash that I have peeled, seeded, and diced here. So I'm going to use about half of this in this recipe. And the first step is we're going to um, roast the squash, and then we're going to let that cool, and then we're going to assemble our parfaits. So this is um, a really great option for grab and go. Parfaits seem to be coming, seem to be getting really popular in schools. So I hope you try this one. So the first step, I'm going to take about half of our squash, and I'm going to toss it with some oil. So you can use olive oil, vegetable oil. Because this is a local foods training, we've got some main grown sunflower oil, which is really delicious. Um, pretty mild, neutral flavor, but is a great roasting oil. And then we've got some main maple syrup, which is impossible to open with a glove. And then going to drizzle some of that. Give it a nice toss. So squash, we might think about it as being a mostly savory ingredient, but of course, you know, Thanksgiving is next week and pumpkin pie, classic Thanksgiving squash featured dessert. So this is kind of similar. We've got some um, cinnamon that I'm gonna toss in and I think that mixing it with that crunchy granola and then the sweet yogurt might remind some students of pumpkin pie, which is something that a lot of them probably already like. So we've got some cinnamon and then just a little touch of salt. So remember that we add salt to, to recipes like this, not because we want it to be salty, but because salt enhances the flavor. So it's really going to make this roasted squash delicious. So our oven is preheated to 425. I'm going to pop it in there. Set the timer for about 20 minutes, give them a stir, check it out, and we want them to be um, fully done when I prick it with a fork, and also kind of nice and caramelized and brown. All right, so I just pulled out of the oven our roasted butternut squash that's been tossed in olive oil and some maple syrup, cinnamon, and salt. It smells delicious, it smells sweet, it smells like pumpkin pie. And I want this to come to room temperature um, you could also let it come to room temperature, package it up, refrigerate it, use it the next day. But this is going to be one of our elements of a parfait. So it's going to go with nice cold yogurt and some crunchy granola. So you really want to make sure that you're not adding that hot squash to the cold yogurt. It's just not really going to work well together. So I'm going to set it aside and we're going to assemble the parfaits in a bit. All right, so we are going to wrap up our butternut squash parfait here and layer it. So we've got four different things that I'm going to layer into this cup. And you want to make sure you're following the recipe to make sure that you have the proper amount of every ingredient to meet the guidelines. So I've got a delicious local yogurt. This one is slightly sweetened. I don't think you really need to add too much sweetness here because you've got the maple syrup and the squash. You've got the dried cranberries, which has some sweetness, and a little bit from the granola as well. So, plop in some yogurt. Get some of these. Chunks of squash. Some of that whole grain granola. dried cranberries, this is also something that you could put all of these components on your salad bar and the students could kind of assemble it themselves. And so I like when I do parfaits like this or any kind of layered sort of treat, I like to have the top layer sort of show everything. So just a little bit of the squash, a little bit of the granola, 
and a couple dried cranberries. So that way, if you're looking at just the top layer, you can see everything that's inside of it. So you're not going to be surprised or there's nothing in there that a student might not like. Um, and I love these clear cups because you can see all the layers and this is a great grab-and-go item and I hope you try it. <laughs>